Hello, 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 people. Uh, I think you can. Can you hear me? I think. I don't know. I'm not monitoring myself. Uh, yeah, I can hear myself. Hello, 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 everyone. How has your Sunday been? All good, I hope. I hope you've all had a, a lovely day. Uh, are you on mute? I shouldn't be on mute. I, I can hear myself. Give me a second. Let me see if this works better. How's that? Is that bell? Much better. Perfect. There we go. Yes. Yeah, so, how's everyone's Sundays been? Fantastic. That's what I like to hear. Mm, I can hear you loads better now. Perfect. Cool. Cool. So. Uh, I'm currently eating ham and ham on toast with baby spinach, salt, and a metric shit ton of black pepper. Okay, that that sounds. I, I think it sounds lovely. A bit too much pepper for me, but yeah. Uh, chilled dinner and Cluedo. Oh, I love Cluedo. Cluedo is one of my favourites. Uh, spot gardening today. Okay, what we've been gardening. Uh, busy decluttering. Wait, oh, what takeaway? Say kebab. Go on. Uh, good thanks. Not been much, much. Just doing Sunday jobs. Um, yeah, I, I feel that Sunday jobs are good. Uh, they are chocolate cream flavors. They are chocolate with cream flavors in. Them. What? What's chocolate with cream flavors in them? Kebab and pizza. There we go. That's the one. Right, we'll leave it on this screen for now. So we've got a bit of background noise as well. Uh, had leftover takeaway from yesterday. Okay, what did you have? I'm going to say Saturday is normally like a fish and chips day, right? Uh, just post winter tidy up and some pruning. Okay, yeah. Um, are we gardening? Is that... I mean, pruning is a gardening thing, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Topaz, yes, you would you would want to do in the garden, yes. Uh Tadka Dal Yum. Tadka Dal? I don't know what that is. Sounds curry like. While I'm here, let's this sort the options out. Yep, language, English, voice on. Evening, evening, Steve. How's it going? It's lentil based veg curry, okay. Sounds not to my liking, but I've never had lentil. That might be why I'm a bit like, oh, I don't know. I'm scared of change. Um, it's like spicy lentils. Again, I've never had lentil soup. I don't know what that is. It's very... T okay, I, I might have to try it one day. Yeah, I might have to try it. I went to a car show today. Uh, been spending today putting stuff in the loft with a stepladder. Do you not know your real ladder? Because, you know. Stepladder, real ladder. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, I went to a car show today. Loads of classic cars. It was lovely. I was, I was in my element. Oh, at least we got a laugh, cat. Did we enjoy yesterday's Facebook Live? The real ladder died when I was six. <laughs> well. <laughs> Dad joke level unlocked. So there we see. We're getting them in there early. We're getting them in early for you. Um, yeah, I'm getting a couple of laughs, so I'm happy. Right. Should we start this up? No, I was asking. Did you enjoy last night's Facebook Live? Because um, if you did, I, I'm happy to do more. You know, um, I think you might have enjoyed my story times. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it was too laggy on the phone. Would have watched otherwise. Oh, okay, that's a shame. Miss Facebook Live. Found it too late. Oh, no. Okay. Um, is it something you guys would be interested more in? Because, you know, uh, like I said, I'm happy to do more. Missed it when you do... Okay, so yeah, you want you want to do another one. 
what was on the live? It was just me. Just me chatting. I'll save the dad jokes for later. I'm looking forward to it, Steve. Um, yeah, I mean, we can uh, try and cat. We can definitely do more if that's something you guys liked. Um, obviously, I can't do Thursdays or Sundays. Um, Wednesdays were a bit difficult. I could do Monday, Tuesday, or Friday at the minute, I think. Tuesday, I think Tuesday or Friday might be better. Tuesday, Friday or Saturday. Yeah. So, uh, we'll work out a day that works for everyone. Saturdays might be good because it's like a, you know, the day before the live. All of that lot. You know, so that could work. Uh, give me one second. I'm just going to reset something up on my phone. I need another uh, accessory up. There we go. You, do you know, I spent all morning looking for one, okay? I found one, and it was a double pack. So I've got two little mini uh, Milky Ways. Uh, uh, Friday or Saturday would be good. Getting into, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, maybe Friday, because then you've got a little bit of a break from me. You don't need me every day. At least I don't think you guys want me every day. And there we go. Right, I got that up. Has anyone else's? Has anyone else sound? What? Yeah, I've got. I mean, I think everyone's got sound. Gone out of sync. Okay, that's not good. Give me a second. Let me just do that. Uh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's slightly out of sync for me. Um, I'll, I'll have to fix that a little bit later. Uh, I might be able to do it now. Uh, advanced audio properties. Offset. By about five milliseconds. Let's try that. One, two, three, four, five. A little bit more. I think the other way. Let's go 10 milliseconds on that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, about half a second. So, okay, let's go. Let's go 30 milliseconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'd say that's, that's closer. Maybe. Maybe the other way. Let's try a minus on that. One, two, three, four, five. I think the other way. Advanced properties. One, two, three, four, five. How's that? Is that better for everyone? It seems slightly better for me. Other way a smidge. Okay, advanced properties. Because uh, I think it's either my camera or my mic that's slightly out of sync. That's the thing. Let's try minus in that. Okay, how's that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we need about another about another second on that. Minus minus one twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's not a broken sword uh, stream about technical glitch. You are completely correct, indeed. <coughs> Uh, sorry, no, you, you haven't caused a problem. I would spotted it before, but I'll be honest, I thought it was just me being a bit picky. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's probably the closest I'm going to get it without resetting everything. I think. Yeah, everyone happy with that one? 
Close enough, yep. I'm happy with close enough. Oh, this count reminds me of another joke. What did the drummer name his two daughters? I know this. Do you know this? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else know this? Anna one, Anna two. Yep. <laughs> right. Um, let me alt tab back onto my game. There we go. Right. <laughs> Let's go new game. Also, you'll notice I have the um, chat up for everyone for YouTube purposes. I still haven't sorted that cow's lick in my hair. Look at it. I will say, remember, if we don't enjoy this, we can swap over to three. Them eyebrows. Land a plane on them. Yeah, it does feel a bit low quality, I won't lie. But it was fan made. Uh no zero. I haven't ever played I don't don't think I've played three before. I can't remember. I know I helped Indy on one of the 3D games, but I can't remember which one it was because there was one where the controls weren't being quite right for her. So I had to just have a, a quick five minute go on it, but yeah. I, I definitely concur. Broken Sword 2.0. Return of the Templars. Yours for twelve ninety nine on two classic cassettes. Anything about the location? I remember. I think it was like Russia or Germany. You're breaking into some base and you have to move boxes. Um, that's about all I remember. I, I thing is, I think I can remember saying about Glastonbury, but not a hundred percent. Is that there was a witch in one of them? I think. Oh. Indy, can you remind me to look at new cameras soon? Because I think that might be the issue with the out of syncness. Which would be rather annoying, I ain't going to lie. Thank you. No Paris in the winter, no Paris in the summer. Give me something.
Paris and the airport. <laughs> No, it was like some sort of army base, I remember. Game sounds very quiet. Okay. Um, I think I can turn it up here. Is that any better? Perfect. Them rims, they're like 2,000 rims. So let's go. Stan Birdman, okay. Nico, thank God you're okay. George. I thought something had happened to you. Why would you think that? Um, did I get it wrong completely? This telegram here. Oh, got it, Steve. <clears throat> I don't know anything about it. You don't know anything about it. Is that all you have to say? For God's sake, I, I was worried about you. As you can see, I'm fine. Would you mind leaving now? I've got a lot of work to do. Nico, what's wrong with you? I travel all the way from America to be close to you, to look after you, to have you near me, and now you're so dismissive. Sorry, George. I'm busy right now. I'd better go then. Would be better. <sighs> okay, I've got some comments to make. Let's see what everyone else has to say first. How are we all thinking about the um, the game so far? Yeah, he, he feels a bit... No, it makes no sense to talk to Nico right now. He sounds possessive. Do you know, I don't disagree. <laughs> Beforehand, we were like George and... George has just been in. The telegram arrived after all. Hmm, strange. No, it makes no sense to talk to Nico right now. Uh, if you order George Stobart from Wish. <laughs> yeah, he just... Beforehand he was this lovable character, and now he's I'm feeling more a stalker. Clown to jumping around the corner and knocking me out with his accordion now. My fears are proved to be unfounded. Instead, it's Pepsi I'm standing again. in the middle of Paris. Confused. I have questions. So many questions. <clears throat> I think we can get through this, though. We can get through it. If yes, why would she do a thing like that? I think about it for some time. Until I see her, sitting there patiently, selling flowers. Just as though time had stopped. She helped me once. Why not a second time? Yeah. Definitely, there's no emotion there. Uh, the game, okay, so the game's pretty good. That's that's good. Although she looks like a beanhead. Excuse me. Oui? Oh, it's you. Didn't I tell you you would come back? Um, yes, you sure did. What have you been doing all this time? I've been selling flowers, telling fortunes to the customers, the usual stuff. <laughs> Well, it's not that usual, is it? It is to me. That needs to be so rude. Don't get fed up with selling flowers and telling fortunes? You know, I've done this for years now. After such a long time, it is difficult to start anything different. 
You could produce your own TV show. Something like things you always wanted to know about your future. Not a Sorry. bad idea. Uh, she got but I think produced I'm going to money? Me on selling my flowers. After all, I don't want to make a show of my gift. I understand. Good. Yeah, George. Uh, oh, bollocks to this. Hang on. There we go. Uh, oh, I'm afraid I don't know what's going on with your girlfriend. Pardon? Uh, oh, really? You were reading my mind. Well, it's in my nature to predict the conversational topics. Rolf was actually to tempted to voice with. George in this. That's, that's interesting. And what do I want to ask? You want to know what your girlfriend has been doing during the last couple of weeks. Damn it. You're absolutely right. Uh, I can't tell you anything precise. Only this. Your girlfriend went out late in the evening a lot. Yes. I know exactly what you mean, Blue Eyes. Pardon? A blonde man with a ponytail. Ugly. Wears specs and shorts and goes by the name of Andre Labadou. Oh. I don't name. think so. Ah. Uh, a lot off my mind. After a few days, her going out suddenly stopped. I hadn't seen her again till this morning. What do you mean? She didn't seem to leave her flat. That's not like her at all. Maybe you were talking. No, I hmm? don't think so. I have plenty of time to look at Didn't this scenery, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. Business is going badly. Well, you could put it like that. It sounds like the bad guy from John Wick 1. I didn't want to rub so uh, I don't know. I love that guy. You still have me as a regular customer. And I will certainly be back. Yes, I can. Could we handle this in the traditional way? Meaning I ask first and you answer afterwards. That's more familiar to me. Oui. So, can you tell me if I'll go on a long journey again? Do you no, it's only about two hours. I guess so. You are going to die. What? I'm you? If you're not careful. I heard no, traditional. That's nothing special. You will meet someone unexpected. That blonde ponytailed worm? No, it's not him. It is a rather good looking person. Male I didn't know I was meeting now. George. That's five euros, please. Come on. I'm sorry, but soothsaying has its price. Pity. But uh, I'll do you a favor. I'll give you this newspaper. Wow, thanks. I'm honored. Why are you giving it to me? When the time comes, you'll know. Okay. Can you tell me what's going on with the weather here in Paris? When I arrived, there was pouring rain and now bright sunshine. Yes, it's true. And it will rain again today. And it's going to be worse than this morning. Well then, I should take advantage of this beautiful weather. Besides, <laughs> I have nothing better to do anyway. How about a nice little ice cream? Now that you mention I'm it, hoping he gets actually. better. Like, the acting wise. There is a very good ice cream parlor. Where do I find Rouge Park? Do you know Hermetic de Nabal, better known as Cite de Baphomet? I sure do. Years ago, I borrowed a bucket from a painter, tricked a bouncer, then I... Monsieur. I didn't borrow the bucket, did Sorry. I? Sorry. Where was I? Ah, yes. Two roads on from there, the park begins. It's not particularly big, but the ice cream parlor is worth a visit. Thanks I've I've got to stay hopeful. I have to. He's made me feel deflated. I must be going now. Maybe we'll see each other again. Yeah. He needs to be a bit more upbeat. Certainly. Oh, like he needs no. to eat some smarties or that something. That sounds familiar. Okay, so we're going to Park Rouge <laughs> for the present for a do right. now. Apart from the ice cream parlor, which is in fact an ice cream van. It's George's um, emo phase, all right? There isn't much here. Hopefully this one was a phase and not a lifestyle. Right, 
Right, let's go down. Let's buy. George, you got any money on you, mate? This is the newspaper the flower vendor gave me. It's folded twice. One of the headlines catches my eye. Café de la Chandelle Verte opens its gates at 4 o'clock this afternoon for the first time since the bombing. I should stop by. You should. However, just be thankful, right? I'm hearing it at such a volume that I can hear the... As he's talking, the lips smacking. I can hear the, the spit in his mouth and it's kind of... I find an envelope wrapped yeah. in paper. It reads, for the right moment. There are three euros in the envelope. Three euros. Yeah, the mouth sounds. I can hear them. I don't know if anyone else can. If you've got headphones on, turn them right up. You'll hear it. <laughs> what can I do for you? I'd like three scoops of ice cream, please. One strawberry, one vanilla, and one chocolate. That's three euros. Oh, three euros. The vendor really knew what was going to happen. Oh, no, don't tell me you haven't got any money. Nope. Three euros. You see? I don't think that was the right time, though, mate. Here's your ice cream. Thanks. Why? Okay. Where's my ice cream? Ew. This ice cream tastes like dead socks. Gross. So dead socks. Anyone else's socks alive? Because mine ain't. Ew. This ice cream tastes like dead socks. Gross. Yeah, he definitely says dead socks. I'd rather not. Really, you're not gonna... Of course. You've noticed that the cone is only two meters tall. Haven't you? Of course. You've noticed that the cone is only two meters tall. Haven't you? Okay, there's a few issues with this game, I ain't gonna lie. If I take my mouse off the screen at any point, it, um, where do you think puppet, puppets come from? I, I don't know. That's yeah. But not they're not alive. I can't sit down now. I must find out what's wrong with Nico. Okay, so, okay. Throw the ice cream in the fountain? Yeah, this. That's not a good idea. Okay. Have you mentioned. I haven't, no. I, I don't think that you can't actually see it. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, if, if you do see a large TV behind me, um. I'm not I apologize. Well, We've just changed our TV in the front room. I don't, see if I can get you to see it. Uh, no, it's that way, isn't it? Yeah, no, you're not going to see it. Um, I don't. I'm not thirsty. But you are, George. You're just eating dead socks, apparently. Also, it's here, it's like he can take the ice cream cone. George sounds like he's on a massive come down. This is his concussion episode. Can you get. I tried, he won't talk to him. He's like, no, rather not. That's not a good idea. Ah, the gas leak season was fantastic. Of course. Notice that the cone is only two meters tall, haven't you? That feels very like, hello you. I saw you in the bookstore. You were reading my favorite book. 
and now we're in love. Right, um, so we've been there. Let's go here. Does anyone watch? Everyone watches me. I know, I know. You mean the TV show. I love you. <laughs> it would be silly to rip them off. I can't wait for the next season. You're welcome, square-eyed. Square, -eyed. square -eyed, still. Oh my god, is that actually the same waitress? Really, you'd have you wouldn't have PTSD working in this place again. Monsieur, stop, stop. Stobart, do you still remember me? Yes, certainly. Your friend Nico used to talk about you a lot. And um, besides, you're the man who helped me up and comforted me after the attack. And you didn't give me alcohol to drink. I did, actually. Go back, watch episode one. I did. What have you been doing all these years after the attack? If I tell you that, you'll think I'm crazy. I'm doing that already. Yep. Uh, to microphone, je comprends. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Just thinking out loud. So... So you're a cheer -em. After the bombing, I walked in a small cafe just around the corner. Didn't you have to recover from the shock? Not really, to be honest. Crazy. Didn't I tell you? When this cafe reopened, I didn't hesitate for a second. And here I am. It's just great to hear such a success story in these depressing times. That's not a success story, mate. Seen. That's just someone needs a job. If I can get you anything, just call me. We. Oui? Okay, thank you. I shouldn't just help myself. You should. Oh, we can we can take a seat. Oh, here we go. Now, who's that? Oh, it's George, our friend and adventurer. Hi. I'm okay. What brings okay. you back to Paris after all this time? Let's okay. say it's private. It's something to do with. I've worked it out. We. I've worked this out. Do you remember at school when you'd play games and you'd learn about history? <laughs> That's what this is. It's about Nico. The so voice acting is school level stuff. Oui? She disappeared? Didn't you know that? No, I didn't. She didn't tell me. A while ago, I remember we, we played on the, we had to learn about the Romans and you'd have to like dig stuff up. Weeks, it was, yeah. Nobody heard anything from her. Her employer was worried too and I informed the police. Why didn't anyone tell me? I sent you a text message. Stop lying, Andre. Okay, I I didn't think it necessary for you to get involved. I'm her boyfriend, mm -hmm. goddammit. Ex, Ex boyfriend, you mean? No, no. I usually mean exactly what leaves my mouth. Now we're getting some uh, emotion from George. Nico reappeared after these three weeks, just as though nothing had happened. Yeah. P ones to anyone that's not sure is like our year reception, I think. Yeah, reception isn't it? P one. Yeah. Uh, oh God's sake! Oh God! Hang on. This is the only issue I've found. If I move my mouse over to my other screen, I have to what did she say? tab back on. When I asked her about her being gone for so long, she only told me she had visited her mother in the country. That makes sense, I guess. George, her mother Does has been though? dead for nearly two years now. Maybe Nico thought I didn't know. Or maybe... Maybe what? Yeah, like five-year-olds. But the worst yeah. is yet to come. It gets even worse. Oh yes, there was a rumor that Nico had tried to kill Bernard Lemar, the acting mayor of Paris. Do you really believe that? I don't know what to think. Since she has been meeting those people, she hasn't been who she used to be. Meeting what people? Come out with it, Andre. I don't have any details, but I, I know that you're the impressions of the Joker. <laughs> it's it's kids I trying to be adults. But near Montfaucon, I lost track of her. Montfaucon, but. That's the place where... Exactly. The place where the Templars suffered their worst hour, and where regular near-Templar meetings are held. 
It can't be true. Nico and the Templars? No. It makes absolutely no sense. Why not? The evidence clearly indicates that. Sounds like you're suspecting. Yes. I'm a yes, the kids from the primary George. school from Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Facts, and the facts do not give a good impression of Nicole. My grandfather died. Nico isn't who she was. Anne is suspected of trying to assassinate the mayor. That's just incredible. Have you asked Nico about the attempted assassination, Andre? I did, but she denied everything. Of course she did. Did the local press cover the story? They did, George. The story went through all the papers for days. France National a boy had a from particularly Ipswich. elaborate take on the topic. Interesting. Maybe the paper's archive can be of help to you. The papers must still be available from there. <clears throat> how did these rumors actually emerge? I mean, how's anyone supposed to know that Nico was the assassin? Is there any evidence? I'm sorry, mm. George, but I must be going. Right, it's someone Google it for me. What a pity. How long is this game? Because if it's like three hours, we're smashing it out tonight. If it's like six hours, I don't know if I can do multiple streams of this. I don't know much yet. The only clue I have is the France National. Four hours, okay. So we can have it, yeah, two streams, that's fine. I have a feeling Nico might be in danger. Already, <laughs> Already on it. That's not going to work. Okay, if I can get you anything, just call me. We. Oui? Okay, thank you. Alright, so... That's just one big box. Okay, that's not going to help. How long to beat smart? Right then. So... Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Hang on, there's a cat, look. Puddy cat. Yeah, it's definitely cheering us all up. Laughing at the bad accents. I mean, fair play to the way of the, you know, done all the artwork. I think the artwork's brilliant. Oh, I want to go down the alleyway. It would be silly. You're silly. Ah, uh, no, weather's been alright here. It's been actually, it's been lovely here. Um, where? That was suspicious, wasn't it? Yeah, we pick yeah, up the building. Sure. I'll just put it in my pocket. They don't give me the option to pick up the building. Yeah, sure. I'll just put it in my pocket. <sighs> Why would it give me the option to pick up the building if I can't pick up the building? <laughs> I just want to see George put it in his pocket now. A heavy door secured by a padlock. Uh, fest okay, okay, yeah, no, it's, it's, even this evening's been alright. You're being sassed yeah, by fake George. I know. Kicking in the door, shouting, "Hello, it's George Stobart, and I'm burgling this building." Maybe it would be wiser to try and get inside a little less conspicuously. Conspicuously, okay. Yeah. Well, what are my options then? Because. Conspicuously. Yeah, that's what I thought you meant. Conspicuously, not conspicuously. Great he, idea. He does say conspicuously, right? Maybe it would be wiser to try and get inside a little less conspicuously. Conspicuously, yep. Conspicuously. Right, make notes of all these bad words. These have become part of my everyday vocabulary. Vocab I want to make a word now. Vocabulary. It's part of my vocabulary. That's the one. Right, so I can't. Can I just. Uh, right. I need to get something to break the paddock off, obviously, so let's go back. The guy does not know that word, huh? No, exactly. Vocabulary. Yes. That's my word. I'm sticking with it. If 
For anyone who doesn't know, Del Boy's famous last words. Okay, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge Only Fools and Horses fan. Right, maybe there's something in here. Maybe I can take the ice cream cone. No, it's not open. Don't want to do it. You've noticed that the cone is only two meters tall, haven't you? Okay, so that's not happening. Okay, let's go to the window. See if he's got something for me. Okay, um, my possessions are an ice cream. That's literally all I have. I don't know what to do with an ice cream that tastes like dead socks. She's not here. Okay, let's go for a handbag. And um, I'll oh, pick up the note first, and then go look at porn. A note. I can see the letters M E T. No, don't Is look at porn. Place? Hmm. The bag seems to be quite full. The last time I ran and that garbage present that Andre had given her, a pair of red panties. We remember them. My hands reach into the bag. A gun. Ouch. I cut myself on the sharp metal something. As I get it out, I realize it's a pair of scissors. Nasty. All that. Well, Again, my hands touch something pointed, but this time I'm prepared for it. A hairpin. Oh, we're taking the stuff, yeah. It's rubber. The last time I reach into the... Oh my god, it's a small purple slip. Probably another of Andre's presents. That sneaky little. Okay, so we got more underwear. Let's go look at porn. Nothing happens. The operating system seems to be secured with a password. Nothing happened. Yes, I could take some photos, but I don't think they would be of much use. I'd better leave that to Nico. No, I won't. Why should I rip it from the wall? Bap ho. Hmm. Seems like the rest of the note is missing. Yeah, okay. Right, answer machine, yes. The unread message light is blinking on it. Mm. <laughs> I know it's not exactly gentlemanly to listen to someone else's messages. Even though in this case, that someone else is my girlfriend. But I must know who called Nico. It's me. Since you're not in, I guess you're on your way to our meeting place. I expect you to be at the fountain on time. At the fountain? Which fountain did the voice mean? Mm. Alright, so yeah, I figured we had to combine these two. That's it, Baphomet. Yeah. But what now? Anything else? Is George about to get close? Quite big and fuzzy. What, what? Why is he robbing her clothes? Screwdriver, here we go. Always useful. Um, what else can we do anything with the bed? Jump on the bed? Great idea. Cuddling into the blanket and pretending everything was fine. But I have to know what's wrong with Nico. Okay. Quite big and fuzzy. Mm. I think... That's probably everything. <clears throat> There's some sort of nail... They have 
sort of nailed the outside of the boxness. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Like, I can't work out why I need ice cream clothes and things like that, so. Oh, the outside of the boxness of the poster? Yes, no, completely. Right, I reckon we're going to use a screwdriver to open up the door. Bijou, how have you spent? My brain isn't working today. Bijou, she's from number five, isn't she? Is Baphomet the password? I thought that's where they were meeting. I could be, I mean, I could be wrong. Um, they said fountain, so I reckon it's going to be this fountain. But I want to go open up that door first, and then we'll come back and try the password thing. Oh. Oh, we've got this place over here. That's quite cool. I've got lots of memories at this place. This and apparently time, pictures. Yes, a trace led me here. I won't go in there again. All right, a fuse box. Um, no. no. Okay, so. Why should I open the fuse box in the middle of Paris without any reason? For the same reason you went down a bloody manhole to start with, George. Okay, yeah, we... This would make sense if there was water in there and it was 40 degrees or more. Right, we'll save it. I don't... I think that's going to be save. Yeah, okay. There we go, we saved. Before we go po okay, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about that. <laughs> I wonder right, can we die in this one? That's the question. If so, how are we gonna die? Right, we're done, I mean there's nothing here for me. Okay. Hmm. If you see a bucket, don't kick it. Wow. That's dreadful. <clears throat> that is just dreadful. Um. That doesn't work. Why should I open the fuse box in the middle of Paris without any reason? Okay, I got these stairs in. Thumbs up these stairs. Oh. Hi. Hi, Tramp. They couldn't even give him a name, like Trampy Dave. Trampy Keith. Hi, my name Trumpy is Trampy Terry. George Stobart. And my name is Les. Homeless. <laughs> okay, that was good. Is that your flashlight? <laughs> nope, stole yes, it. Yes, it is. And I'm not selling. What if I gave you something else in return? You don't have anything I want, believe me. If you knew what I sometimes carry around, I once had a fish in my pocket. But I'm sure you don't have the item of my dreams. Who knows? You have a woman sleep with you, oui? You're not serious, are you? Oh, why not? Many guys have well, a feminine side. I don't. You do. We do. Just look at your hairdo. What about it? It's feminine. It's not. It's just blonde. It's as masculine as my physique. That says that it was the second thing I wanted to mention. Fresh light and knickers. I'll see if I can get you a slip. We've got a slip. Which 
I'm pretty sure it's just pants, right? He's gonna be sniffing them all night now. I've got to <laughs> it here now. Here you are, but I want the flashlight. The flashlight. Go. Hmm. I don't know, but the batteries seem to be dead. Oh, great! Thanks. Told you, sniffed them, hundred percent. Look, I'll walk over a bit so you can see him a bit better. Oh, you can't. He's just sitting there sniffing him. Ready? <sighs> Could you all see less properly? Because... If not, now you can see he's having a good old sniff. Ready? <laughs> that was my less noises. Enjoy. Enjoy that image. Right. <laughs> now this goes to what we need to... Yeah. At least he can sell Nick as only fans. He's homeless. What's, how's he going to do that? <laughs> Hope there's no hair in him. Nico's French after all. Oh. He's going to sniff it and like cough it back out. Right. Let's try you on the back door. The pubic library. Oh, public library. Public, sorry. Not a bad idea, but the hairpin alone doesn't work. That doesn't work. No. I'd rather not. Not a bad idea, but the hairpin alone doesn't work. Why have you got real world logic on that? In films, you see him do it with Bobby Pin all the time. Why did my chat view. What? Why is my chat view. Starring out all the swears. Um, I have no idea. You should be able to swear. I can swear. Mine does. I love the fact that everyone's like now trying to swear. Ah, see, zero can do it. I can't say that because it goes on YouTube, so I'm going to, have to blur that one out. Um, let's just add a Twitch marker there for me. I mean, it's all right. It's easy enough to just quickly throw a blur in there. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, okay, now he's doing it. Right, sure. Now I've found an item that's worth risking my life for. Two freaking batteries. Well, there we go. It's better than nothing. Hmm. Power seems to be on. I'm feeling a little queasy. Should I really put my bare hands in there? I'd rather not. You know what? I'm just gonna save again. Um, Power seems if it was a on. good Georgie voice, I'm feeling uh, a little queasy. Should I really put my bare hands in there? Uh, but to screw up Cali accent. This bad is unfortunate, uh, unforgivable. I I don't know what California accent should sound like. Actually, um, I can see them on Scorch's screen. 
but not in the chat view. Yeah, it might be to change to your settings then. Ah. Makes sense. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> RP George Saber, that's it. No anything else. You can die. I'm pleased to know. Um That doesn't work. Okay. That's not a good idea. That's not gonna work. Okay. Um Damn, that hurt. Okay. But at least I have courageously acquired two Mafasol batteries. Great. I think you might be right. I think you might be. They can go in there. Uh, Try. I literally just done the jumper, and it worked. Right. So I've got a flashlight now, but. I'm obviously trying to break in. Uh, hey, I was putting the kids to bed. Uh, back to watching. Oh, fantastic! Uh, hopefully, they stay in bed for you. That's that's the, that's the win of the night. You haven't really missed much other than us laughing at mispronunciation of words. And in fact, I can't yeah, steal sure. a I'll just building. Put it in my pocket. Now the hairpin is a perfect lockpick. Oh, you just have to right click on it. Okay, cool. So you do just need one item. And let me guess, I'm going to need the flashlight for in here. Damn. The batteries seem to be dead. Ouch! Ah! So why do I risk it all for the batteries? I should hurry up. Shells, okay. I search the shells. I'm taking the fire extinguisher. You better take it. I don't need a fire extinguisher. Why are you getting so angry with me? You're the one that steals everything, you kleptomaniac. I search the shelves. On the shelves, the newspaper issues are neatly arranged according to their year of publication. These are the shelves of the current year, 2003. Okay, so... I search the shelves. Exactly, he might need it. On the shelves, the newspaper issues are neatly arranged. Um. Nineteen ninety-eight. Okay, so yeah, we don't need anything from nineteen ninety-eight. Oh god, it was 20 years ago. I'm just going to click on every single stack. I sir The attempted assassination ah, is criticized in bold letters. Reporter under suspicion of murder. We the renowned it. Parisian journalist Nicole Collard was released without charge early on Monday evening after several hours of interrogation. According to Police Inspector Henry, suspicions of Miss Collard being involved in the murder What's a chicken's favourite type Lemire of trainer? ...could not be backed up with hard evidence. I don't know. Lemire I have no idea. Lemire under the threat of repeated assassination attempts in recent months after overtly confronting Parisian cults and their totalitarian structures. 
the 34-year-old photographer Collard came under suspicion when the Irish journalist Ferdinand Arvin accused her of being involved with the assassination what year did I leave school and membership then? of a cult called the Knights Templar. Arvin announced he would back up his accusations with hard evidence Re-bok, within bok, the next bok, couple bok. of weeks. <laughs> he is currently living in an unidentified safe okay. house under 24-hour yep. guard by police for his own safety. Yep. That makes no sense. Why should they got me? To kill anyone? Yeah, I like that. I must learn something about that reporter, Irwin. But how? Oh, see, now you need to fire a signature. Bet you wish you'd have uh, taken it now, didn't you? Damn it! It's stuck. Let me guess. Screwdriver. My common. That burns quick. It does burn quick. What's the difference between a lobster with breasts that was and a dirty close. bus stop? I don't know. I seem to have made an enemy. Strange. The only one who knew I was here was Andre. I don't know. What is the difference? Listen, uh, George ain't gonna run because he just doesn't care right now. So you left in '95? No, I don't believe that. Oh, Trident Cat, she won on the prize. Yeah. Yes. So Trident Cat, you wasn't on the live yesterday, I believe. Um, your prize it is still coming to you. Don't worry. Uh, I'm just trying to find the main ingredient for your prize. Um, the bowl of soup would not be complete without this main ingredient. Let's say. Oh, I can't. I, I should have been always, always been. I mean, no, never, never be nervous. No, um, I left ninety two, so I think I'm the oldest. Nineteen seventy eight. What you left school in nineteen seventy eight? I don't believe that. I had a score of 92, so I think I'm the... I don't... Um, if it helps, Topaz, um, I just not long started school when you left secondary school. <laughs> I think. Uh, no, no way did you leave school in 1978. I don't believe it. I've seen all you people on Facebook. Like, not any one of you looks old enough to have said you left school in 1978. Okay, thank you. I mean that with a compliment, obviously. Like... None of you look old enough to say that you left school then. Well, I'm going back to her place. Oh, no, not that one. I don't remember where her place is. Now, you guys are... No. I'm not asking that question. You can ask that question. Thank you, Rougerie. Yeah. I th honestly, Alpha, I don't believe it. Sorry, refuse. Right, let's try Baphomet as a password, see if that gets us in here. See if that gives us anything. Nothing happens. The operating... 
Nothing happens. The operating system seems to be secured with a password. <laughs> what? Um, not quite. Did, did you hear what she said? Not mention celebrities who look. Just mention in celebrities who look young for their age. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I didn't ask. <laughs> you've you've insulted her though by saying she's sixty two. Oh no, she is sixty two. Yes. No, she's not. She says she's not quite. She heard what she said though. Oh, I'm getting confused. Right. Let's talk about saying girls because I don't want to insult anyone because <laughs> I I'm terrible at putting my foot in my mouth. <laughs> um. What's everyone have for dinner tonight? Me? Did your kebab come? It's you. Didn't I tell you you would come back? Um, yes. I sure did. Actually, no. Speaking of schools, I will tell you what I've been doing today. We'll see each other today, I've been trying to track yeah, down my year yeah. five teacher. Certainly. Oh, Use no. the note with the computer. Good idea. Good idea. I forgot you could do that. Did you read the punchline to my joke? Uh, what joke? Remind me. <laughs> Remind me. I got caught up on ages. I can't scroll. If I do, I uh, I lose connection to the game. The bus stop joke. No, I didn't see the punchline to it. No. Okay, busty crustacean, yep. Then the screen displays a list of names and addresses. The right edge of the paper shows the coat of arms of the Parisian police. That must be a copy of an official document. We got there. Maybe an address list. Maybe Nico is working on a new story. I can't make heads or tails of it. Turkey wraps and some leftover, leftover Easter chocolate. That's a mouthful. I scanned this outdated newspaper for something useful, but except a report about a school that was hit by an outbreak of constipation, affecting hundreds of children, there's nothing of interest. I scanned this outdated so newspaper what? for something useful, but except a report about a school okay. that was hit by an outbreak of constipation, affecting hundreds of children, there's Back nothing of after the efforts. I won't do anything till after the efforts. We shall wait. Which city again? Let us know when you're back. Okay, you're back. Cool. <laughs> we were waiting for you. We were dancing while we waited. Well, I don't know. That's the best headline I've ever heard, though. Oh, I don't know if you heard the headline. You ready for this? I scanned this outdated newspaper for something useful, but except a report about a school that was hit by an outbreak of constipation. Affecting hundreds of children. There's nothing of interest. It's the best headline I've ever read. Feeding that will. Yeah, so as I was saying, <laughs> I, I've been trying to track down my year five teacher today, and I couldn't really remember anyone in my year five class except for two names. And I've managed to chat to somebody from my year five class. And I'm hoping, with their help, we might be able to find my year five teacher. She was an amazing teacher. And I just want to thank her for everything she did for me that year. It was uh, a lot of help. Mm. Maybe they all the ice cream. <laughs> Plenty of cheese. Yeah, the ice cream guy. Maybe they all the ice cream from that guy. Possibly. Very possibly. Uh, would you be about 10 years old in year five? Um, I think I was about nine because I was normally the oldest in the year. So yeah, it's, it's been a few years. Yeah, nine, ten, ten. Well, I would have been.
because my birthday's in September, so it's normally literally just after the full date. So I was oh, normally no. just turned nine, and I would have been ten in year ten, uh, ten in year six, and so on. We have fifth class about the same then. Uh, fifth year is about sixteen to seventeen. Okay, yeah. So yeah, uh, when I was about nine, ten ish, let's say. Um, I'm trying to find the teacher from that I had back then because she was absolutely amazing and yeah, she done a lot for me. Um, but I, I've been chatting to an old classmate and I was a horrible kid. Surprisingly, I spoke a lot. I was <laughs> annoying. I was very showmanship in class and pay attention to me and all that stuff. And that teacher didn't deserve to teach somebody like me. I was a shitbag. So firstly, I want to apologise to the teacher when I get a chance and thank her for everything. But I also had the chance to apologise to somebody else from my class about being an absolute asshole. Because, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nobody should have had me in their class. And if anyone from my class ends up finding this on YouTube, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, it weren't just kids being kids. That was the thing. I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was horrible. I wish a teacher dragged me out by my ear. But then saying that, I was the sort of kid that would hit the teacher for doing that. I was horrible. Like, there's no excuse for how horrible I was. So yeah, so my, my, my thing today has been I've been trying to track them down, uh like track down my old teacher and apologise to her and thank her and tell her I did turn out alright in the end. Um I'm respectable now and I'm nice. And oh I found some stuff out about some of the kids I went to school with and it's just blown my mind. No, honestly, I'm not. I'm not even being too hard on myself. I was horrible. <laughs> oh, very. You know, fair enough. But I, I was, yeah. My, I would put my money on me because they come down to that a couple of times. I did end up lashing out at teachers, um, and you know they weren't really allowed to do anything about it. Um, I remember. One time I ended up punching one of my teachers straight in the face because they wouldn't let me leave class. Uh, so yeah, that, that's what I said. I was a horrible, horrible child at school. Uh, I ended up moving schools um, due to parents getting divorced. Um, and then I finished this, that school. Uh, how many schools? I went to... Three, four different second, uh, primary schools. Um, we moved a few times in a way. But then when my parents got divorced, I ended up going to a separate, uh, different school. Uh, finished that school up in year six. I went to year seven in a different high school, obviously. Um, and I was asked to leave that school due to burning part of it down. Um, and then I went to another school. And I didn't get on with it. And I didn't ever go back after that. I... I left in year seven and yeah. yeah see what I mean I wasn't being too hard on myself and I said I was a horrible child <laughs> it is that is literally why I, I'm it, I end up burning part of my arm hairs off and my friends joked around saying I scorched my arm hairs off and then it just becomes scorch and then when um, I had my Xbox 360 online um, I'd gone from the original Xbox to the Xbox 360 online. Uh, I'd been scorched up until that point, and then I got a new account. Scorched obviously already taken. I had to put something in front of it, so I went with Mister because I was 16 at that point. And I'm like, I'm a grown up, and it's just yeah, it's lived there ever since. So yeah, now you know. <laughs> Wasn't being hard on myself. I was an arsehole. I apologise to anyone that ever had to have the displeasure of me in their class. But I'm lovely now.
honest. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no. Do we shank him up with the scissors? That's not a good idea. Okay. Shank him up with a screwdriver? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I don't know where to go. If anyone has any suggestions at this point, I'm all ears. I, don't know where to go. <clears throat> I feel like I've been everywhere, tried everything. Am I missing something on this map? Been there, been there. I am there. I've been there. Okay, let's go back here. Screwdriver and a park bench. I'll definitely try that in a second. I won't go in there again. Okay, so this place is off limits. Yeah, there's there's no like real direction on where to go. I think it's gonna be here for some reason. I don't know why. I just feel like let's go speak to homeless again and see what that has to offer. He's still sniffing the pants. Why was the maths book and why was the maths why was the maths book sad? I, I don't know. That took me longer to say. Uh, I'm not sure what the story is. Are we checking if Nico is evil now? I think so. It had too many problems. That's dreadful. This is the darkest time. I don't feel like coffee at the moment. I want coffee. Maybe later. You know what? I'm going to go speak to the waitress. No. Wrong place. Wrong place. I'm going to show the newspaper with a headline about people can't shit in. Right. Let's see what she has to say. Nope. Cool. That's so all that. All this way. For that. Okay, let's try the screwdriver on the bench. I don't know what that would do, but... Uh, I don't think so. Screwdriver on the fountain? That doesn't work. Okay. Maybe... I'm going to do it on... Do you know what? I think when we've completed all the Broken Sword games, I will make one video for you where I just walk around to random things and just act like George. Walk up to people and be like, Here, look at this. I have a red ball in my pocket. Just because. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. Oui? Oh, it's you. Didn't I tell you you would come back? <laughs> um, yes. You sure did. I must be going now. <laughs> I... Maybe... We'll see each other again. Yes, we will. 
Certainly. Oh no, that sounds familiar. Sn show them a snotty tissue and see the reaction. Yeah, we'll do that. We we'll, we'll just reenact it all. I'll show people my knickers. Fuck it, why not? I'll make it one better. I'll act like they were on me first and take them out. That's the answering them. machine. I've got one of these myself back home in America, and I hate it. Okay, so... Let's go on the computer, then. As I look at the list again, the name Ferdinand Arvin catches my eye. That's the journalist mentioned in the same newspaper article as Nico, right next to his Trident name. Cat is like you're right there in my head. Twelve. That's the Hotel Ubu. Nico kills Mayor. Nico gets interrogated. Nico disappears. Reporter claims to have incriminating evidence. Nico reappears and has Arvin's secret address on her computer. I have a bad feeling about what? this. And not only Beijing. because I'm talking no, like Andre. The tour. The tour? I think it's gonna happen. What? Elliot Minor. Oh really? Oh okay. Because I commented saying about Mimi Swatch going. Yeah. Nico's computer oh, okay. is running. It's happening. Yeah? Mmm. Mm. You're gonna have to geek out in the chat about it now. I mean, given that most of people are similar ages, yeah, I'd imagine so. Right, we're going to hotel. Oh, fuck off! I press that. Give me a second, because this is the only issue I found with this game. The moment I move my mouse too far off the game screen, it goes onto my other screen. I've got Alt Tab back in, and it's annoying. Hotel Ubu. Here we go. Oh, is Mrs. Piermont going to be here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Probably should have saved, shouldn't I? Monsieur Stobart, nice to see you again. I can't say it's nice to see you. Flap, stop waving the gun around, will ya? Sorry, Guido. So, Monsieur Stobart, may I beg you to move? We don't want to make a scene, do we? No scene? I didn't save. No scene? Do you expect me to let myself be shot just like that? If you cooperate, nothing will happen to you. For the moment. Um. How did you manage to get out of the church in Bannockburn anyway? None of your business. Can I shoot him now? Not yet, Flap. Not yet. Right. Oh, man. Can't we just be friends? What? And lose out on two million euros? Okay. What are two million euros compared to a real, long-lasting friendship? Oh, I can save here. Okay, so I'm going to save. What do you want? Oh, come on, Stobart. Don't be stupid. Since you stuck your nose into things that were none of your business seven years ago, you've been number one on the list of enemies of the Templars. Stop that garbage. The Templars are gone. If you say so. Just a coincidence that your girlfriend met with people who call themselves the Templars, don't you think? Lie! Um. Nico would never get involved with those idiots. I could see a broad smirk spreading all over his face. Problem. You've met Mademoiselle Collard today? Yes. Why? I'm just curious. If you touch her... That need not concern you anymore. Not since she's been going out with that fair-haired history professor. Andre? Right, that's his name. The two make an excellent match, don't you think, Monsieur Stobart? Another lie. Every word that leaves your mouth is a lie, Guido. Okay, so did anyone else hear that? He said seven years ago. This game's set in 2003, making Broken Sword 1 set in 2006. Um, 96, sorry. So, 
I thought it was set in 98 when it came out. So, or was that number two? I don't know. Maybe yes, I'm wrong. And they're stronger than before. If you think you wiped out all the Templars during your Scottish adventure, you are sadly mistaken, Mr. Stobart. And you guys work for them again. Monsieur Stobart, we are the kind of people who are often called mercenaries. We get our money, and that's all that counts for matters to us. Believe me, that's gonna change. I'll stop you again this time. Even if I have to travel around the globe for it. Ah, but you see, Monsieur Stobart, that's exactly what Flap and I are here to prevent. Help. Help me bad to drum people. Oh, I was meant to actually... Okay. Right, we're just going to skip this section. I could see it. You... It... On... There we go. We're in the uh, hotel. That was close. <laughs> Uh, I got it with Primary 7, but it was a few years old when I got it. Sold out software. Okay, yep, I, I think I had the same version. Still remember a guy who helped me with it. Oh, really? It could be 96, no? I wasn't even okay. interested in piano lessons when it was in to get mom and dad to teach you how to play. This is allowing your chat, I think. I think you might be right. <laughs> I, had, hey, I think man. we counted about Hello? six seconds delay. What's that toy you're playing with? It's a Freggy. A Fremmy? Freggy, don't you know anything? Sort of rubber ball. Looks funny. That kid's weirdly British. Hello, who are you? I'm George Stobart. That's a weird name. No, it's not. But it is. No, listen. Stobart is a perfectly normal name. Stobby? <laughs> My name is not weird, okay? Stobber, Stobby, Stobbo. Who would have imagined this? I travel halfway around the world to have an argument about my name. With oh, he does sound like Emily. Of a banana. My dad has a better name than you, mister. So, what's his name then? Flap? Nope. Ferdinand Irvine. Where's your father now? He went out. He told me to wait here, but he ain't come back yet. I think he sounds when very see your father? Mary Poppins. About three hours ago. <laughs> oh, him again. I feel like in a live action, he'll be played by um, Joe Lysette. Oh, good afternoon, Monsieur. What can I do for you? I'd like to hire a room, please. One moment, please. So, yeah, a crap attempt at London, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm afraid we don't have any rooms left. Really? But there doesn't seem to be much going on here. As that might be your first impression, but come the evening, come the guests. This hotel will be busy then. Damn it. Pardon? Never mind, just thinking out loud. Oh, I've done it again. Moved my mouse too far, didn't I? Have you recovered from the shock? I beg your pardon? I know I shouldn't have let her loose on you, but I had no other option. If you understand. Uh, no, I don't understand. Lady Piermont, the pianist and magistrate. Ah oh, oui, the madame in violet. The beast, mon ami. Oh, well, she wasn't that bad. A literal eccentric, but okay. You are not a target, if you don't mind me saying. How much does I a cockney right. pay for a bottle of shampoo? Go on. I'm curious. Pantone? 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 Pantene, okay, yeah, like the the brand, okay, yep. As in a pound ten, yep, pantene. Can't get in there. That's bad. 
That's bad. <laughs> it's even I worse, I didn't get door, it. But it doesn't open. Uh, I don't think so. I can't get in there. It sounds like Ray Winston when you say that. Uh, do I go back out the hotel now? I'm, I'm very... There really isn't much pacing in this game. Oh, actually, 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 actually. Oh, no. What's on the floor in the middle? I didn't see anything on the floor, did I? Upstairs or downstairs? That doesn't work. I'm going to go up. What's on the floor by the middle door? Okay. Oh, I, do you know what? I didn't even see that. Probably not. It's a hotel reservation belonging to a certain Ferdinand Irwin. Double room. One adult, one child. Hiding Irwin in a well-known hotel is not the most creative idea the Parisian police ever had to protect a witness. If I can just get into that room... It's a hotel reservation for a person called Ferdinand Irwin. Okay, so I'm going to, have to go show... Yeah. Isn't it funny it's the middle room again? I'd rather not. Hi, me again. Hello, Stobby. Listen, would you like to play a little game? Oh yeah, a game. Freggy. Gets boring after a while. Here's the deal. We'll go to the receptionist together. Rector... What? Listen, that George. Over there. Listen. Uh-huh. And right, there George, we're gonna can't play father take and son, children. Right? Sounds good. And you can't ask them to play games with you. We know better now. It's not acceptable. Me again. I can see that. What can I do for you this time? I reserved a room. Uh, have you? May I see your room? Very wrong. <laughs> there you go. Mr. Ferdinand Irvine and son? Brian. Arthur. Pardon? Arthur. Brian is his middle name. Okay, the here's the key to room number 122. Thanks. I'm, I'm taking this child out of my room. Yeah, it's just there? weird. Like... There's better ways to do this, George. Oh, let's go to the minibar. Let's tightly rob the minibar first. I'm not thirsty at the moment. Are you sure about that? <laughs> the first picture <laughs> Tell you shows his the name. assassination attempt on Mayor Lemire. A short distance from the action, a person catches my eye. Hastily running away, she's looking over her shoulder. As if she's been caught doing something wrong. She's a medium-sized, slender, obviously wearing a bad wig. Wait a minute. I know that face. I is that Nico? The second picture was taken at night, but I instantly recognized the place it was taken. Of course you do. Mafasan. Some people wearing robes, almost impossible to make out. Somehow I have a feeling that there wasn't a children's birthday party. There's a woman in the middle. She seems to be talking to someone. I have a bad feeling about this. The third picture confirms my instinct. It's a close of the woman. It's Nico! She's about to pull the hood deep over her face, 
Ivrin must have taken the shot just moments earlier. Who's she talking to? An older man is standing next to her. His robe is different from those the others are wearing. It's more elaborate. Around his neck, he's wearing a big brown cross. The Templar's Cross! Definitely their leader, Big Boss, has turned his face away from the camera. I can't see who he is. I don't know how Nico got into this mess, but I have to help her as quickly as possible. It's time to get some answers from Nico. And... Let's take the mirror. You ready for the sass? I don't have anywhere to put it in. <clears throat> They're mispronouncing everything as they're mostly German, the voice cast. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Big balls. Uh, as in balls in Scotland. <laughs> right, so now we've got to go get answers out of Nico. But is it... I'm going to have to save, because I don't even know if it's safe to go outside. Let's go get some. Wait a minute. What's this? A parade? Not a clown. There are huge barriers blocking the way to Rougerie. Just my luck. I must find another way. Okay. I'll talk to the clown. Hi. There's a lot going on, huh? Have you been standing here all day? Sprechen Sie Dutch? Parlez Vons Francais? His eyes tell me that he understands all right. He just doesn't want to talk. I hate clowns. Me too. All right. Talk to the spectators, see what they got to say. No way. Read Georgie and talk to everyone except for the spectators. Pardon me. Oh, hello. Could you tell me what's being celebrated here? Yes, this is the traditional opening march. Opening Can you see what? the kids I'll try for you. You don't know? The annual Parisian city market. It will open its gates tomorrow. That's interesting. Can you tell me how to get to Rougerie? Uh, that's just bad luck, monsieur. The parade will take about two hours. But I have to get there. My girlfriend lives there. I live there myself. I should be at home with my wife and kids, but c'est la vie, monsieur. Come on, celebrate with us instead of complaining. I'm celebrating. Thanks. These accents are getting worse and worse. I know. Besides, two psychotic killers are chasing me. Would you celebrate if you were me? They're not really chasing you, really are they, exciting. mate? Believe me, I'll take dull any day of the week. I, I hope they do. The parade is over. I hope they watch it. Because I mean, Enjoy the you know, it's a it's a nice looking game and everything, and I commend them for doing it. No, I can't take the balloon. Oh, hang on, let's try and take the balloon. No way. You saying no way? Sorry, cat, can't steal the balloon from the kid. I'm just enjoying the music. Okay, so I can't get to Rougerie right now. Uh, Cine Clowns there. I'm currently watching Psychoville. And remember that with Mr. Jelly, the one armed clown children's entertainer. Oh, Scissors on the Balloon. That's a good call. No, I don't remember Psychoville. No. Or oh, the ice cream. I forgot we had items. Oh no, just straight up murdered the balloon. That balloon bursts like a bubble. 
I like it. The passers-by don't. They look at me even more grimly than that goat that time in Lachmar. <laughs> this is a text-based game. I type. I said, take that. Now. Take the fucking balloon. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We can go down. We can go down. Uh, Reese, Shear, Smith, Steve, Pemberton. I don't know any of them names. That's just my luck. Do you know what, dog? Have some old socks. Dead socks. Sorry, dead socks. Yes. Nice doggy. Oh, I've never watched League of Gentlemen. It looked funny, but yeah, I've never actually seen it. I was told that my uncle was part of their cult. Georges, at the time, I had no idea that it was the Neo Templars. I only wanted to help him. I infiltrated their order under the false name of Christine Wu to get my uncle out of there. But when I met him, there I was stunned. His eyes were just empty like a dead man's gaze. It was very disturbing. He seemed to have been drugged. But worse than that, he it's a bit grotesque for you like him. I like grotesque you know stuff. Meant by that? No idea. It's possible that it was just the drugs. That would explain both his gaze and his stammering. Why was your uncle part of the Templars anyway? I guess Indy, we've got to watch Temptation. League of Gentlemen. Yes, George. Two million euro. <laughs> hey, on second thought, the Templars aren't such bad folks after all. But this talk about a gate worries me still. But that's probably a result of the drugs. True. It could be. But maybe it has something to do with the Templars' plans. You might be right. Where would you start your investigation? Hmm. The only one who knew about I don't know what the masks a are. Of so. A good friend? Yes, a friend. Nothing more. What's his name? Jimmy Mokluff, mm. an English historian whose main field is the Templars. Why did you let him in? Because How not to live your life? Okay, I'll give that a go. Have you met him in person? No. I avoided that. After all, it might have been a trap. We only exchanged emails. So he's never actually seen you or heard your voice? No. Do you think he might have given you away? It's possible. Maybe I should pay him a little visit. I don't think that's a good idea, George. The Templars are involved with everything. So why not give him a call? Okay, makes but sense. You can't just sit and wait until the Templars get what they want. Who knows what they're up to this time? Hmm. Where can I find this Jimmy McGlaw? He has a mansion in York, England. England, huh? I've never been there. And it means something if there's a place I've never been to. George, please stop bragging. But it's a fact. Where exactly can I find McGlaw? As I've said, I've never met him. But as Andre told me... Then we'll never find him. Can't you forget your childish rivalry for one minute? Not for a second. Anyway, you should start at the York Library. We're going to York. So he should be registered. He works for revolution. Maybe you can find his address in the personal file. Take a map at the airport. The library should be on there. Will do. I better be going. Wish me luck. Okay, George. Take Good care luck. of yourself. I'll ring you as soon as the plane lands. Uh local shop for local people. Very dark. Uh I'm very, very confused now. They made George a complete arsehole. I agree. They have made George a complete arsehole. Who was it that recommended that Lysit show? Oh, I don't know. Who recommended the Joe Lysit show? Late Night Lysit or something. Yeah, Late Night Lysit. Yeah, that would really good. Yeah, I've got to carry on with that. This is a York map. I'm over here. Okay, good to know. And the public library is. Why is it giving me a tutorial now? Oh yeah, I love Peep Show. Yeah, why is it just giving me a tutorial? I I I've been working these maps. There isn't much going on. What's that hammering noise? As I turn my head toward the Victorian desk, I see the source of the insufferable noise. The librarian is torturing her keyboard. I hate computers. Might be connected to the fact that I'm not very computer literate. 
Or just literate. George, I've heard some of the way you pronounce words. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, please. I need some information about one of your members, Jimmy McGlaw. I'm afraid that's impossible. Why? Because I can't just hand out private information to a complete stranger. Data protection. Love Friday night dinner. Sure, but I'm not a stranger, am I? Aren't you? Then you must be Michael Burns, the one Mr. McClough said was his best friend. Yes. Yes. No, I'm not Michael oh, Burns. Oh, button. At least you didn't lie to me. I made the name up. Can you make an exception? It's really important. Hello, I'm Jackie. A picture of right now. Oh, okay. How to your life? That's another one to look for. So, what are you writing there? None of your business. Sorry, I only asked. Jim. I was joking, sir. Love Jim. My late mum always told me be friendly and funny to all the people you meet. Yeah, very funny. Stop making fun of me. I'm sorry, I. I was just taking the Mickey out of you. Stop it. Okay, I see. You're not a humorous person. Oh. Yes, I am. I can oh, be yes. Really funny. Yes. Why did the blonde climb up a No, I'll wall? save that for the next Facebook Live. That's uh, my story time. There was someone outside the door who told me that joke. Don't you think that kind of joke is cruel? Well, let's change the subject. There's not much going on today, is there? You're right. Jim never so saves his software welcome. Software is holding a public launch of their new computer game. It's called Broken Sword. Do you know it? Nope. I don't, and to be honest, it doesn't really sound that great. I don't think it'll be a success. In a few weeks, no one will be talking about it anymore. Nope. I'm out. I quit. I quit. They've just insulted the game. Do you know anything about the Templars? Only a little. They were a pop group that made quite a splash in the 60s, you know. The ones with the mop-top hairdos. I think the group you're talking about were the Beatles. The Templars are some sort of chivalric order whose descendants tried to take over the world oh. recently. Could you do me a favor? You don't believe me, do you? Me, please. Not really, sir. Go up as Jim plays downstairs tent in space with Simon Pegg. And yes, I, I started that. Well, um, I, so, anyway. I meant to finish it, but I never got around to it. I will Bye. finish it. I'll take the ball. Yeah, for what I saw, like, I started well, no, like, the first episode. Uh, it was it was quite funny. I enjoyed that. Let's go talk to the student. Yeah, the the dialogue's not coming across as funny. It's more sassy and me. arrogant. Yes. My name is Stobart. George Stobart. Ah, uh, hi. My name's David. Hi, David. Does the word Templar... What was I watching? Else? I was watching Sorry, something. I don't know anything about that. I'm studying animal science, and it's nothing about animals, is it? Actually, it kind of is. A weasel and a gorilla are working for them. A weasel oh, and a gorilla? God. How? Do you remember the other day, uh, I was watching something on telly and they mentioned the hash I seen. Ah, I see. Punisher. Well, I'm in a bit of a rush with this. The, the Punisher the season day. two. And I haven't even have you guys finished. seen it? Cheer up. I'm sure you'll make it. Thanks. I wish I had your confidence. Do you know if the librarian's hmm? always so strange? You mean Mrs. Leroy? It's fine. Not always. She's just having a bad day today. Hey, computer. The one she watches over like her own child has already crashed twice today. It's made her a little jumpy. Now she has to catch up on an incredible amount of work, which explains why she's literally bludgeoning her keyboard. Why did her computer crash? Because some electrical cable in the basement doesn't work properly. Oh, I can it takes fix that. at least an hour until that can be repaired. And now, poor Miss Leroy has to do all the work by uh, herself. You now see why I can't rewatch it the without you guys. It would be painful. I see. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, 
Dog is me in this game. I was like, shh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, David, can you tell me where I find the fuse Again, box? Again, Red basement? Dwarf is a show I've never what seen. What do you want to do there? Things. Well, down the stairs, second door to the right, then left and uh, down we the corridor. Just game, I mean. Thanks, okay, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. have found it by myself. Now I know where to go in the basement. Yeah, I've, I've never really got around to watching I think I must have seen episodes as a kid, but... I don't really remember it that well. It's one of the shows I want to watch, though. Right. This should work. Din oh, I love dinner ladies. Steve, look. It's your stepladder. I'd rather not. Okay, is there a certain order I need to press these in? I've tried that order. Press three buttons in the correct order to turn off the power. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I wonder, I wonder if... No, okay. So there's no information there. Football shirt. Okay, we'll take a football it shirt. It says York United. Room. I'm not going to clean up. Okay. Break. Right, I'll just carry on my process of elimination. Oh. Mrs. Leroy leaves her. There we desk. go. Got it. Oh, I love a bit of not going out. I can't wait for the new series. Let's see. Here's the card index. Manish, Marworth, McKinsley. Aha, there it is. McLean. Flukes it again. I'm sorry, don't Steve. deny that, Steve. Flukes so it, 100%. Have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> right. There we go. Um. That's too far. What's more, I must find this McGlaw guy. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's save again. Somehow I feel nervous. <clears throat> this stately home somehow reminds me of mm. the Villa de Vasconcelos. Okay, well, George, you need to kind of go in the house, mate. I'd rather not. Oh, hang on. Stuff up here? Somehow. No. Um. It says York United. A small. Re no. Hmm. Okay. George apparently doesn't want to go in this house. I, it won't let me just walk in, that's the thing. I just as soon as I go there it just gives me the search. This thing. stately home somehow reminds me of the Villa de Vasconcelos. Somehow I feel nervous. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try going down this way. Maybe that's going to take me somewhere else. 
No, it takes me off the map again. Okay. Ball through the window, doorbell. Somehow I have. Okay, is there a doorbell? Did I miss a doorbell? I did miss a doorbell. Good spot. Oh, come on, give me a ding dong at least. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Stobart. George Stobart. I have an appointment with Mr. McGlaw. Strange. He didn't yes, tell it me is. about it. Besides, he has a visitor right now. It's really important. Okay, come in, I'll show you the way. Are all houses in York Thanks. like that? I have no idea. I'm going soon, so I'll let you know. <laughs> Mr. McClough's room is at the end of the Northwest Passage. It is that a sound in York? The Arctic region. Thanks very much. The fuck are you on about the Arctic region for, George? We're told to see him, we won't have a chance. That could cause problems. And you think this American knows something? Definitely, he's real nosy. If you're right, we'll get all the necessary information about the order. How will we capture Jimmy? What about two of my best men to take care of? Should be here soon. Even though I can't stand York is beautiful. I agree that you wouldn't take him. I've, I've never been. I'm looking forward to it. Sure, that's what I said. Could I use your toilet, please? Of course, it's just down the corridor. George! <gasps> Andre, you sneaky traitor. It's not what you think. They only want to talk to you. Right. Let's save here. No, I'm going to leave. My granddad was born here. Okay. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to take a picture with the sign. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Mr. Stobart, we'll talk to you. Is that Khan? In the meantime, you can get familiar with your new roommate. If you aren't familiar already, that is. That's. That's Khan, right? Who are you? Ah! Oh, that was the worst. Ah, oh, come on. Surprise, no, he didn't. He seemed like he started with his toe. How did you... You're not the only one who can play tricks. But I saw you lying dead on the floor of the train compartment. Immediately before I got on the train to Bannockburn, I put on a bulletproof vest. Of course After he did. After all, unlike you... I knew what was ahead of us, and who we would encounter along the way. A blood cartridge was an incredibly useful means to feign my own death. And how did also. you escape? That's a very long story. Just me, or does he kind of sound like... He's got a northernish accent. I have followed George to England. I haven't heard from him since his arrival in York. That's not like him at all. I'm really worried. There's something in my bag, but the usual items carried by any woman, and a phone number. Okay, telephone. Jimmy McClough? Who is speaking, please? My name is Nicole Collard. I'm a TV journalist with the French channel Canal 1. We were thinking about airing an extensive portrait of you, which would include an interview. <laughs> we didn't call Nico. After all, you're one of the most renowned historians of our time. Definitely doesn't sound Middle Eastern. It sounds really tempting, but I think I'm going to have to turn you down. That would be a great pity. We're one of the most successful channels in Europe. 
Our ratings are very high, which would guarantee that your portrait would find a great audience. You would be able to tell generations of people about your views on some of the most historic events. I mean, you're one of the very few allowed to oversee the preparations for the first moon landing. You were able to follow Armstrong, Aldrin, and the others during their training for the mission. It would be a shame if the public were denied these unique insights. I must admit that you've done your research well. Absolutely, she has. Thanks. Under the circumstances, I'd be happy to meet you here with my house sometime. This may sound a little forward, but how about conducting the interview today? Today? You TV people move awfully quickly, don't you? That's our trademark. Very well, then. I will be at my house at two o'clock. Two o'clock it is. Of security. I can't tell you my address over the phone. But you can meet my secretary at the History Museum. She's leading a tour for a group of children there. I'll phone her and tell her you're coming. She'll bring you here. I'm sorry that I have to make it this complicated, but there really is no other way. There have been attempts to assassinate me. It seems as if I don't only have friends. I'll wait for you till two o'clock. That's in 20 minutes. If you're not there by that time, we'll have to postpone our meeting by about three weeks. Because I'm going on a three-week business trip. Of course you are. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Derek Stevenson. I'm with the York Police Force. There has recently been an unpleasant increase in theft of luggage at this airport. That's why we are carrying out a routine search. Please stay calm. There's no need to panic. But apart from the airport staff, nobody will be permitted to leave the premises while the search is underway. This should take no longer than 40 minutes. My colleague will give you all further instructions. Mm -hmm. We apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your patience. Damn. I have to be at McClough's house in 20 minutes. I just talked to the watchman, you mean the police officer, but okay. This entrance is for staff only. Stop, you can't go in there. This entrance is for staff only. Why does everyone in New York have a brummy accent in this game? I don't know. Well, I left it inside <laughs> the room. May I fetch it? Section 4, paragraph 3 of operational guidelines clearly it's, states... The accent's are all over the place, let's no be honest. access to sealed areas for unauthorised persons. Maybe you could fetch my bag for me. Well, not really, but I suppose I could make an exception. What does it look like? Well, there are small hearts on its left side, spelling out, I love you. One moment, please. I'm afraid your bag is not in this room. And you really can't let me in? Section 4. Okay, okay. I'm right, okay. Hmm. And you really can't let me in? I'm afraid not, ma'am. Hmm. Is there anything over the You know what? I think here is a lovely place to save it and call it a night. I've given you an extra ten minutes because obviously, you know. Yeah. I clearly have to go. <laughs> Um. Yeah. So, as always, I'll thank you guys. You know. Ah, oh, yes. Look at the time. <laughs> there we go. Um. That too. Yeah. <laughs> but I figured Dwayne and Pearl is a good spot to to come back. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll uh, thank you all guys for hanging out with me tonight. And, uh, you know, as always, um, where is it? Hang on, sorry, one second. 
there we go yeah uh, as always you know thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight thank you for entertaining me and keeping me sane during this interesting game let's say and uh yeah i guess yeah without you guys it, it wouldn't be happening you know so thank you and i will see you all thursday